For those of you interested in Alpha Phonics but would prefer the CD-ROM edition, we've created this little video for you. In most cases, all you need to do is pop the CD into the tray and a little window will begin. And you can either exit from here, you can explore what's on the disk, or you can begin by clicking here. And the following window appears. Again, you've got some options. You can hear a young lady read from the book. Sam Blumenfeld has things to say. There's a table of contents and we'll go now to lessons. There are all 128 lessons that you can access via this page. Lesson one through seven there. And all the way down through the end of the book. Let's go to lesson one of the seven in this section. This is lesson one, which is typical of all the lessons on the CD. From each um, lesson, you can also access a table of contents or any lesson you choose. There are also a click area for reading the instructions. There's one for listening and there's a student section. Here we're clicking on the instructions that you read. Typically the instructions are in the back of the printed book edition. And you can scroll down to uh, the complete lesson or you can re-click that same link and it will close that window. Let's listen now to Sam give the instructions for lesson one. Lesson 1. We start by introducing the pupil to the short A, the A ah sound, in conjunction with five consonants, M, N, S, T, and X. Have the pupil say A, ah, and tell him or her that this is the short A, and that the letter A stands for the A ah sound. Then introduce the consonant letter M, and tell the pupil that M stands for M. Mm. Then explain that if you put the A ah together with the M, mm, you get the word AM. The letter sounds by themselves have no meaning, but when they are put together they make a word. Use the word AM in a sentence so that the pupil will realize that the word being read is a word he or she uses very often. Then introduce the letter N and tell the pupil that it stands for N. Then show how the two letters when put together make the word AN. A plus N equal AN. Again, show how the word is used in a spoken sentence. The last button to click is for the student. You can see that the letters are all bigger. And once you return, want to return, just click the back button. And let's go to the next lesson button, where of course it will take you to lesson two. There's a reading area. You can go down and listen to Sam give the instructions. Or of course there's a teacher begin to the instruction. Let's look at the table of contents for a minute. Again, you can access any part of the CD from here. A little bit about the author, uh, the teacher's introduction, which I've clicked on here. There's also a small section where Sam gives a little introduction about the book. I'll click on that here. Hello, this is Samuel Blumenfeld, author of Alpha Phonics. 
Many of you who are about to use alpha phonics to teach this. And to stop that, all you have to do is click right next to it where it says stop. Pretty much everything else on the uh, CD is is self-explanatory now that you've gone through this preliminary information. There are a couple things here. On this particular page you'll see that big arrow. Well just click anywhere in that box when you see a big arrow like that and it take you right back to where you were. Alpha Phonics also has information about uh, cursive handwriting. You'll see that little red box. That'll take you back. And this particular window, you'll need to go back to the last window to get out of that particular one. Anyway, there's lots of information in the book, lots of information, and a, lot, a little easier to access on the CD.